Okay, everybody, here's a study guide for exam three. Um, exam three is going to only have 39 questions. Um, so a little bit less questions. It's just that it's still going to be worth 50 points, and the Electoral College questions are going to be worth two points each. So know how many votes that are allocated to the Electoral College. Um, you know, simply 538, the name of the website, 538 to win. I mean, 538.com and 270 to win are kind of two clues. You need 270 to um, vote. I mean, to win the win the presidential election. And remember, uh, votes are allocated by the number of House of Representative members you have in your state plus two. All right. Uh, you know that in different. You know that know that in Nebraska and Maine, um, their votes are set up proportionally. So you win one district in Nebraska, one congressional district, you get one electoral college vote. If you win the whole state, you get two. And remember, there's. Um, in Nebraska, you have five votes available, so three districts plus the two votes that you get for winning the whole state. And then in Maine, it's two districts plus two votes. So just kind of remember that. Um, know um, that it's rare for people to go against what the popular vote in the state is as far as being an elector. And know that California does have a law that requires you to to vote according to how the popular vote went in in um, in that state. So um, if you're in California and you're chosen to be a Democratic elector and this was 2020, um, you would be required to vote it for Joe Biden. So just remember that. Uh, the closest election result in history was the 2000 election, Bush versus Gore, uh, the endless election. You saw the video about that. Um, know that Reagan... Uh, had probably the biggest landslide of votes. We looked a little bit about that on the map. And if you look on 270 to win, you could see that. So, uh, no 1984 election when Reagan beat Mondale. That was probably one of the biggest landslides that we've seen in history. Um, and no, the two instances in the past, um, um, actually, this should say 25 years. So, Know the two instances in the past 25 years where one candidate won the popular vote but lost the Electoral College vote. That's 2000 and 2016. So remember those two dates. Okay, and if no candidate wins a majority in the Electoral College, um, the House of Representatives decides who will the president, the president will be. Uh, remember, currently California has 55 Electoral College votes. That's actually going to go down to 54, but for the purposes of this class, just think of it Think of it as 55 for now, all right? Okay, know what started the Great Depression? The stock market crashing of October uh, 1929 really started the Great Depression. Know what the Dust Bowl was and how, um, you know, a lot of crops died, animals passed away, and there was drought, and that created what was called a Dust Bowl. And then know a lot of New Deal programs were put into place to, to uh, help offset the Great Depression, you know, taking the power of, of out of the hands of private business and putting it into the hands of the government. We had things like unemployment insurance, Social Security passed that helped people fight the Great Depression and also kind of going into war uh, really helped um, as we started to manufacture more. And as men went off to work, off to war, women went to work to keep production going and that stimulated the economy. Uh, no isolationism in the U.S. Um, during um, the 19... 30s and 40s, uh, there was about 94% of the population that didn't want to get involved in the war. And it kind of led to what we see as the Ludlow Amendment. The Ludlow Amendment was a thing that um, tried to pass a constitutional amendment to declare whether or not the United States would ever get into a war. This would create a national referendum where the people would vote on whether or not we should get into war. And it was actually 21 votes short of passing. So kind of keep an eye on that and think about that and how different, you know, we may be, uh, history may be today if that was actually passed. Um, know what the, why the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. Probably the tipping point was 
uh, the Dutch governor of the West Indies cutting off oil to Japan. So that kind of upset them, as, as well as um, kind of ongoing tensions between the Japanese and the Americans. Um, and, but the cutting of the, of the oil from the Dutch was probably the tipping point. Um, know what the Battle of Normandy is and the cost, and I'm not talking about monetary costs, I'm talking about the amount of men that passed away. Um, know what, and you know, it's one of the more important battles that we had that actually pushed the Germans out of France and back into Germany, kind of got them on their heels. Uh, know what um, FDR's Lend-Lease program was, where we loaned uh, uh, um, money as well as weapons to the UK and other allies in this kind of um, pretty much... Um, pretty much ensured that we were on the side of the Allies. Also know that Germany invaded, invading Poland was one of the ones, one of the reasons that um, we got into um, the war and, you know, the United States, World War II started and um, the United States kept a close eye on it. Know that the Holocaust may have been actually discovered a lot or recently according to United Nations documents as far as back as 1942. The official um, um, knowledge or the official acknowledgement of that these camps were, were around is uh, 1944, but there's secret U.S. documents or U.N. documents that said it might have uh, been even earlier that there was a knowledge of the Holocaust going on during that time. Um, Again, know what D-Day is. Know the battles of Iwo Jima and Guadalcanal. These were two of the most bloody battles in the Pacific Theater. Uh, the events with the USS Panay is when the Japanese accidentally sunk the USS Panay and claimed it to be an accident, but it furthered tensions. Um, Hitler, you know, went in to invade all of Europe was his path to power um, and then kind of him turning his back against an alliance with the Soviet Union so he could try to take over the Soviet Union as well. That was kind of his downfall um, or not right then, but one of the things that um, didn't help his cause because uh, Soviet Union had a lot of fighters and a lot of soldiers and Hitler underestimated that. And that was a tactical mistake that Hitler made. Okay, after the war ended, remember the Cold War uh, started. And it didn't end until approximately 1989. Um, there was a first Cold War um, after the Bolshevik Revolution. And then it lasted all the way, off and on, all the way until the 80s. And I still think in some instances it, it exists today. Uh, know who Joe McCarthy is? Um, he was a true believer um, who tried to out people who he believed were communist, and that led to kind of the the, the fact that um, a lot of people were branded communist and lost their jobs and stuff, even if they weren't. Yeah, and used to accuse people with really no evidence. Okay, you know what the the Truman Doctrine is, and how the Truman Doctrine asked for like four hundred million dollars in military money. Um, an economic aid for Greece and Turkey to kind of prevent the, the spread of communism in that area. And it led to the, to the, to the think the dot of, of the domino theory that if one country falls to communism, all the other countries surrounding may um, fall to communism as well. No, in 1920, we did have some aspects of isolationism. Um, you know, U.S. foreign policy during the 20s was characterized as kind of that enactment of of isolationism. And, you know, even during that time, and you know, you remember after World War I um, and after some of the, the things, um, uh, the United States refused to join the United Nations. So remember that. Know that California was the most populous state by 1963. We also saw a great rise in church membership 
Between 1945 and 1955, church membership rose to over 100 million. And we did try to make this a more religious com uh, country by adding In God We Trust to our money, um, establishment of a national day of prayer, and In God We Trust um, became our official motto. Um, under God was added to the Pledge of Allegiance, so we're definitely a, a movement toward um, becoming a more religious country. Uh, we had tensions with the USSR. A lot of things contributed to it in that Cold War. Um, you know, a, a CIA plane was shot down, which um, exacerbated tensions. There was the arms race, and Nikita Khrushchev, who was the Russian premier at the time, walked out of a peace conference with the Americans in Paris that didn't help the situation. Know about the Bay of Pigs and how um, a bunch of Cuban exiles tried to um, go into Cuba and kill Castro. Um, a lot of them were caught. The, there was some um, kind of tactical errors that were made. Um, they landed in the wrong spot. And the people that were captured were either in prison or killed. And there was still some... Um, kind of, of, of negative feelings toward Kennedy because Kennedy didn't provide um, air cover during this. Um, know about the Cuban Missile Crisis and the main concern about it. Uh, Cuba had, I mean, the, the Soviet Union had um, nuclear weapons pointed at the U.S. from Cuba, and the main concern was that uh, Florida is only about 90 miles away from Cuba. In response, the United States had missiles pointed at the Soviet Union in Turkey. And uh, there was a moment of tension, or a couple of days of tension, where near, neither country would blink. But finally, a resolution was 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 uh, made, and they were able to pull mus uh, missiles from both uh, locations. Uh, know the Korean War, you know the causes of it, you know trying to prevent the spread of communism. Uh, the United States, South Korea against North Korea, and the Chinese. It was a relatively short war, two to three. Um, years but then we also had a famous tv show come out of it called mash which was actually on for 10 years so it was actually longer so um that's pretty much it you know look at this um video again and and try to answer these questions that are on the study guide and you should do okay all right thanks a lot